Around Kansas, brought to you by Tarwater Farm and Home. Come on by, we'll treat you like family. Welcome to Kansas, gateway to... You know, folks joke about coming to Kansas for the scenery, but you and I both know we've got some spectacular scenery. None more fantastic than the Arikaree Breaks in Cheyenne County. The far northwestern corner of Kansas, the Arikaree Breaks are about 36 miles long and 2 to 3 miles wide. The Arikaree Breaks were formed apparently by wind, just depositing dirt and moving dirt and just an amazing land formation there. They, the good folks up in St. Francis have developed a driving tour so you can start in St. Francis and you can pick up a map of the Arikaree Breaks. You can find it online also. And you can drive out and visit the historic spots along the way. One of those is a site where the 5th Cavalry camped when Buffalo Bill was scouting for them just before the Battle of Summit Springs over in Colorado. Another site, of course, is the Three Corners, and that's where Nebraska, Kansas, and Colorado all come together. The scenery is spectacular. Caves, um, Horse Thief Cave, much of that has, um, has actually caved in over the years, leaving a natural bridge. So as you enjoy the geography, you can pick up some of the history of what's happened along there as well. Now, the um, Rickery Breaks, you know, that high prairie there in the far western part of the state, boasts also some great bird watching, some really interesting plants. Of course, you've got a lot of yucca or soapweed, as the American Indians would have called it. And you've got um, a couple of different kinds of sage. And you know, some days when you open the car door and get out, you can actually smell the sage in the air. It's a really wonderful smell. So there's so much to get outdoors and do there at the Arikaree Breaks. Now you have to be careful because some of these roadways um, are not safe if it's rainy. So they would either be uh, flooding or because of where they're located, or they might just be too muddy, you know, you might get stuck out there. And you might not have any cell reception out there, so you might not be able to call somebody. So you've got to be careful and ask the locals. And you've also got to be careful to stay on the roads and off private property. There's a lot of, uh, there are public uh, viewing areas where you can stop and you can get out and you can look at the scenery. But make sure you stop in St. Francis, you know, get a bite to eat while you're there. Um, go into the Chamber of Commerce, ask them about um, the driving tour and where it's safe to go, places you should avoid, and you know, being careful of the weather. And of course, in the wintertime, you've got to be very careful of the weather as well because some pretty treacherous conditions could exist. All that just adds to the adventure, doesn't it? So you've just got to get out there and see this gorgeous formation. You know, if you go to the Kansas Geological Survey, they've taken some wonderful images of the Arikaree Breaks, so you can get a look um, ahead of time of what you might see while you're out there. A great source for places all over the state. We'll be right back. This hog is Hanover hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. 